today we're going to have a, a quick look at a couple of examples relating to reachability and dominance as applications of directed networks. The first question here relates to reachability. For the network that we've got drawn alongside, the first question asks us to find the connectivity matrix C. That basically just means find the one-step dominance. So we firstly set up our matrix C, labelling down the sides. So we've got vertices P, Q, R and S. And the same along the top. So P, Q, R and S. From there, we're just showing the one-step dominance. And remember, the direction does matter this time. So there's no loop at P. There is a direct connection from P to Q. There's only one of those. P to R, there's no connection. P to S, there's one connection in that direction. And we work our way through the row doing the same thing each time. So now from Q, there's no connection to P. There's no loop at Q. There is a direct connection from Q to R and a direct connection from Q to S. From R, no connection to P, none to Q, none to, there's no loop at R and there's one to S. And finally from S, no connection to P or Q, one to R and no loop. Part B now asks us to have a look at finding um, matrix C squared or the two-step matrix and then the three-step matrix. So the easiest way so to enter into our calculator, we need to firstly select the matrix template from the menu. We have four rows and four columns. So we just enter that, and then we just enter in our one-step matrix, so matrix C. So we're just entering the values that we had on the previous page. Once we've done that, you have the option of storing the matrix. So we can actually name it matrix C so that we don't have to re-enter information each time. But that's completely up to you. So I've just stored that as matrix C. To find C squared, it's just now a matter of typing C squared and hitting enter, and there's our two-step matrix. Similarly, C cubed will give us our um, three-step matrix. So we just enter that there, press enter, there's our three-step. And so for part C, when we're asked to then add the three matrices together, we can do that again quite simply on our calculator in one step. And this will show us our total reachability matrix. So from that point, we can now see which is the most reachable matrix and which um, is the least reachable. So the final question asking is, what does this tell us about the reachability? Remember, with reachability, we're actually adding the columns. So our total reachability for each of these um, vertices, P, Q, R, and S. If we add up the column for P, we have zero altogether. The column for Q is one, for R is nine, and for S is 10. So that tells us there are 10 pathways, whether they are one, two, or three step, which get us to our end destination of S. So it is the most reachable out of all four vertices. So this next question relates to dominance. So here we have Alan, Bob, Colin and David play each other in a round robin table tennis competition. The directed graph showing their match results is drawn alongside. So here we can see Alan has beaten David and Colin has beaten Alan, Alan has beaten Bob. So the direction the arrow shows who has defeated who. So the dominance matrix D again is just our one step matrix. So we start off So we start off here by firstly labeling our matrix A B C and D and again same across the top. 
and just going along and working out the one step matrix. So from A, there is no loop to A, there's one connection to B, there's no connection to C and one to D. From B, we have nothing to A, no loop, one to C, nothing to D. From C, one to A, nothing to B, no loop, one to D. And finally D, nothing to A, one to B, nothing to C, and no loop there. So there's our one step matrix. Part B asks, can the players be ranked using only D? So what they're asking here is, can we find a dominant player and can we separate out the four players after just one step or one round? So let's add up our rows in this case to get our dominance. So our dominance would be given by we A, B, C and D. We add up our rows. We've got two wins for Alan. We've got one for Bob two for Colin and one for David. So you can see at the moment, we actually can't rank the players yet. Alan and Colin are currently on two wins each, so they're equal leaders. So now in part C, they're asking us to find the one plus two step matrix. Um, and so again, using a calculator is the quickest way to do